So when an idea falls into your head, where does it come from? And how do you explain an idea? You have a, a dilemma, you're struggling with it, maybe for months, maybe for days, maybe for hours, and suddenly, flash, you have an epiphany. And, uh, and that moment is always a very exciting moment, right? You know, when you have something, especially you struggle with, and suddenly, solution. It's not even a developed solution, just an idea comes to you, this, uh, it's, uh, and it's compared to a flash, a flash of an idea. You know, the, a light bulb, uh, la lightning. That's how it's called. In, in Hebrew, Baruch HaMavrik, Avrokus HaSeichel, it means like a lightning flash, which is exactly like that. It's a flash and then it disappears. Now, we get thousands of such ideas fall into our minds every day, but we forget most of them. The ones that we retain are the ones that either we write down or we develop or we talk about and so on. So, so when you think of it, it's like a flash. That is... So a flash means it's a light. Where did that spark come from? And that's exactly the language that the Kabbalists and then the Hasidic masters develop. How that spark? A spark means it came from a bigger flame. Sparks don't come from nowhere. They come from a flame. But you know, no one can see the flame. So all you can see is the spark of the flame. That flame is called superconscious. Called collective unconscious, some people call it. Different words for it. It's basically, think of it like a reservoir of ideas, but they're not yet conscious ideas. And from there, sparks emerge. Or think of it like a faucet. A faucet, you turn on the faucet, drops of water come out. But they're coming from a place, a reservoir that has a lot more than just drops. And then comes the second stage where you develop that, and that's called Rechevus Hanar, Bina, which is understanding it's wide like a river. But rivers don't come from nowhere. Rivers all have a, a source. A river is not its own source. A river comes from a spring of water or from another body of water that ultimately leads you to a spring of water. The spring of water is very small. The spring of water can be a crack in a stone coming from the depths of the earth, a little spring. But it's alive and it's like sparks.